Hi everybody, how have you all been doing? I'm so glad my comment section has been turned on and that you can leave a comment down below. I would love to hear how this coronavirus has affected where you live or you personally, or if you have any stories that you would like to leave below, I would love to read them and maybe share them in an upcoming video that I make. So anyway, um, I have had a lot of a lot of requests for the bread recipe. And then I've also had people that have said, what do we do if we don't have any yeast? Today, I want to make the no need bread with you, but I'm also going to make another version of it without using any yeast, because I have had people tell me that you can make this bread without using any yeast. So let's get started. I'm using the recipe from our Griffiths Family Cookbook and this is a picture of the finished product. Some people call this no need bread or Dutch oven bread or artisan bread, but it is just a really good soft bread on the inside and a nice crust on the outside, and it doesn't require very many ingredients. It requires six cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of yeast, and two teaspoons of salt. The cornmeal is used for dusting the cloth, and I'll show you later, and I like to add some white chocolate chip. People ask me all the time what kind of flour I use, and it really doesn't matter. I use all-purpose flour. You can use bread flour, but either works just fine. Um, I've also had people ask where I get these buckets that I keep my flour in. Over the years, I have accumulated my buckets at different places. If you go to the bakeries, sometimes they'll have buckets that their eggs have come in or their um, uh, frosting, and you can sometimes buy them from them, or for a lot of times, they've just given them to me. This recipe is really neat because it does not call for very much yeast, and right now I know there's kind of a shortage of yeast. I've had a lot of people say that they haven't been able to find it in the stores, and so this only takes a half a teaspoon of yeast, and we're gonna try making it both ways today, with and without any yeast. I don't know that it's gonna turn out without any yeast. I'm just giving it a try, but we're gonna try it. Also, I'm gonna show you the recipe, but if you wanna purchase a recipe book, we have eBooks available. at griffithscookbook.com. So all you do is add six cups of flour and a half a teaspoon of yeast and two teaspoons of salt. And then just mix that together. And then you add three cups of warm water. and then just mix that all together. I like to put it on a towel like this because it's easy to rotate and it doesn't scratch up my kitchen counters. Now, you don't have to do this, but I like to add a little bit of white chocolate chips to my bread. The bread doesn't call for any sugar, but when you get a little hint of that white chocolate chip, you, know, you can't tell that they're chocolate chips in there when, they get, when it all gets mixed up, but every once in a while you'll get a little sweetness. It's just, it's really, really good, and I just like to add a, a nice big handful or two to it. You saw the consistency with that dough. I'm going to make up another batch and show you another consistency. It, it, it isn't always the same. It isn't always that um, where I can touch it. Sometimes I my flour cups aren't as full or the for some reason, sometimes it's stickier. And I'm gonna make another little batch here and show you a little stickier kind, but that it won't make any difference. When it's all said and done, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference, but I'm going to go ahead and, and show you. This one is a lot uh, wetter, it's a lot stickier, but it's not gonna make any difference, I guarantee it. All right, so I've got on my counter the three different batches that I just made. 
This batch is the first one that I did and it's drier and stiffer and I've got it labeled. This one is the one that had a little, my cups of flour weren't as heavy and it's a little wetter consistency and this has no yeast in it. I made sure that I labeled that it had no yeast. So what you do is you leave them on the counter covered with the plastic wrap for 12 to 18 hours and so I don't have to do another thing with them until tomorrow morning and that time frame it's just a guide. Good morning. Our dough has been sitting for about 18 hours and it is ready to be made into bread. So I'm just going to put a little bit of flour on it so I can touch it and form it into a ball. I'm just going to cover this and set it to the side while I get the cornmeal ready. I'm going to put out a little cotton towel and I'm going to sprinkle it with some cornmeal. And if you don't have cornmeal, you can use flour or you can use um, oats. Take this, drop it right onto there. And then I'm gonna bring it up like this. Now I'm just gonna let that sit and rise for a couple of hours. The dough has been raising for just about a couple hours and I turned the oven on 450 degrees and I am going to put this Dutch oven with the lid on it inside of the oven and bring it up to 450 degrees. The Dutch oven will take about 30 minutes to come up to temperature, 450 degrees. I want to show you Chad's collection of Dutch ovens. He's had these since he was the Scoutmaster years ago. He's got those three. He's got a few over here. Those Dutch ovens work absolutely marvelous and what I do is I will put a, a cookie sheet down first because the legs will go through, see the legs will go through the wire in my oven if I don't. You can also use, if you don't have a Dutch oven pan, then a roaster like this works really fine too. It's been a half an hour. And this pan is hotter than you know what. I'm just going to take my bread dough right out and roll it right into the, right into there. And that's going to cook for about a half an hour.
The bread looks really good so far, but I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes to cook without the lid on it, so it's really good and crispy, maybe five, 10 minutes. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I don't think you can hear it right now because my oven has a fan going that won't turn off for a minute. But the bread actually starts to crackle and you can hear it. So I wanna show you the picture in our book and ask you if you think that this loaf looks as good as the one in my book. And you know what? I think it does. Okay, now, while I've got the oven hot and the pans hot, I'm gonna go ahead and make the second batch of bread and just put it right in there like I did the first one. And I just shake it in there like that. And yes, I can see that this was a, a wetter dough, but it isn't going to be any different. It's gonna be just the same. Now, I am definitely not gonna wait for this bread to cool off. Who waits for the bread to cool off? Nobody waits for the bread to cool off. <laughs> that looks really good. Thank you. You're so welcome. Much. <laughs> You're welcome. Are, you, are things getting any better down uh, here? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing some changes at work, and so it, it's kind of crazy right now. But yeah, we're Try doing good. We're doing good. Trying to get a little work done from home. For yeah, and that's not easy weeks. with you around. Because, oh. oh, you're too tempting to come up and bother. <laughs> Talk to him this way. And I've been good to leave you alone, yes, huh? You've been, you've been I could have used your help this morning holding the camera, but I didn't come and get you. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for lunch. This looks really good. This is one of my favorite homemade bread. Yeah, I want to see you eat it. I want to hear. I want to see if I can hear it. Okay. Shh. Mmm. Oh, can you hear it? Mm-hmm. Oh. I can hear it. Mm. Okay, I'll let you enjoy. Bye-bye. Thank you. It probably wasn't necessary for me to make both loaves, but I just really wanted to show you that it, the difference and that there isn't enough difference. I wanted to show you that it really doesn't matter. This was the loaf, remember, that had a little more water in it. Well, not so much more water, but uh, it didn't have as much flour. My cups weren't as heavy. This one here, I think I ended up putting a little heavier cups of flour in it. And I might have gotten a little more height out of this loaf. Here I'm touching everything. Uh, well, I, I might have gotten a little more height out of this loaf than this one, but really overall, there is absolutely no difference. So when you're making your bread, don't worry so much about whether you've got it just right because it's going to turn out just fine. And if you have to use your hand like I did to mix it up a little bit, that's fine too. Sometimes it's been so sticky with me that I've used my spoon and I haven't used my fingers at all in it. I've just mixed it up and it's been really shaggy and I've just gone with it and it's turned out just fine. So don't worry about that. This right here is the one that we did and I didn't <laughs> I didn't put any flour in it now I've got an idea for this I could cook it but I think it's going to be hard as a rock 
it would still be edible and if you were really really hungry it would taste really good but I do think it's going to be extremely heavy and I'm going to do something different with it I'm going to fry it I know that it the same ingredients are in this bowl as what fried bread is not fried bread we don't call it fried bread um like um flatbread it's just the same as flatbread so I'm going to try frying it I'm gonna do it with you this is kind of fun I'm having fun today I'm experimenting a little bit and if it turns out great and if it doesn't I've saved you a little effort okay so we're gonna give it a try I figured since this is the same ingredient that is in flatbread all I've got in this dough here is flour and water and salt that's it oh I put some of those chocolate or the white chocolate chips in it I kind of wished I hadn't now but that's okay we're gonna, I'm gonna make some flatbread with this. I bet it works. Hey, I'm frying this bread over here Ooh. and um, I picked out a lot of the, um, <laughs> there's still a few white chips in there, but Ooh. I picked Did a, you eat them raw? Yeah, I ate Oh, them. yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you deserve a white chip or two. Mm-hmm. But if this turns out, I'm going to wonder why we haven't been doing this all along. See this yet. But it's starting to get a little bubble there and a little bubble there. That's a good sign, I think. I think I should have had my pan just a little bit hotter before I put it in there. But I think it's still going to work. We'll do a couple of them and, and see. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. It is puffing. It's puffing now. I really think I didn't have my heat on high enough. I'll bet you people that have made this before are just dying right now. You're probably saying, what is she doing? It is hot, super hot, super hot, super hot. I can see where that would be really good with lots of things. Look, it does have little air pockets in there. See that? Okay, it's really good. Mm. Okay, Chad, I want you to try this. That's pretty good. Yeah, break it apart, break it apart. <laughs> Don't shove the whole thing in no, my mouth. No, no. See, it's not. Yeah. It worked. Yeah, yeah. Should have left the uh, white. I should have. No, that's good. You really? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go make another one. I'm gonna put some butter on it when I cook it. No, yeah, no. Yeah. I can't believe we haven't been making these no, all our lives. We haven't made these. Something so simple, but yeah, and that's just the same bread dough. Yeah. Has a no need bread with no yeast. yeast. Yeah, I just didn't put yeast in this one. Yep. Yay! <laughs> nice discovery. Well, I'm really happy with myself for the first time of frying bread like that. And I don't know why I haven't done it all my life. It's really good. And it's cheap, super cheap. Anyway, um, I'm out of breath. I just ran up the stairs. Just want to tell you all thank you for being my friend in the kitchen today. I think we've had a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun. And you know, when I'm talking to you, I'm really talking to you. Um, I feel like we're friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>